hello welcome back to my graphic engineering drawing channel in this video we will see how to draw parabola by general method okay previous video we have discussed and understood how to draw ellipse by general method this is related to parabola see the question construct a parabola whose distance of focus from the directrix is 50 mm this is important to us 50 mm also draw tangent and normal at 40 mm from the focus these two are very important eccentricity is how much not given in parabola eccentricity will not be given because for always parabola eccentricity is always 1 e is always 1 so let us see how to start the problem first you have to draw directrix any length okay and perpendicular to this directrix any point you select from there you draw axis perpendicular to the directrix so i'll take it like this so here directrix and axis are perpendicular to each other this may be of any length again now what you have to do you can extend it later on distance of focus from the directrix is 50 mm so from here we will mark 50 mm this is your directrix and this is your axis you can extend this and then you write axis okay so focus is where 50 mm from the directrix so this, this is the directrix axis you have to mark focus you have to mark on the axis line at a distance of 50 this is 10 20 30 40 and this is 5 centimeter is 50 mm okay now what you have to do this is focus f so for ellipse uh, earlier eccentricity was given numerator plus denominator we did and in those many number of parts we have divided now what you have to do here for parabola always e is 1 so directly you have to take midpoint of this total length that is 25 mm this is total 50 or else with that previous old concept if you want to go e is here how much for always parabola e will be 1 so just think that 1 divided by 1 add numerator and denominator 1 plus 1 is 2 so what you have to do now two parts you have to do in the given length given length is 50 this may be anything depending upon the problem how much given that much we have to take so here total length is 50 mm 50 and in that what we will do we will take 25 mm here half of that okay so this is your vertex this was your focus now what you have to do after vertex v you have to draw vertical lines vertical lines means perpendicular to the axis but before that see vertex to focus how much length either you can measure with the help of scale or you can take that particular distance as a radius and draw thin line here okay then what you have to do from here axis draw the perpendicular line so here i'll align with the 90 degree this axis line and here comes your vertex line so this is vf equal to say this point where it is intersecting the arc is say e so this is same as ellipse what we did vf length is equal to ve length and vf is perpendicular to ve same length but they are perpendicular to each other from the point v we have taken now what you have to do you have to join this point and e and then extend them to so on any length like this after that what you have to do you can take same length ve here also then you can draw another line or else no need that is optional but for your 
understanding how we did in the ellipse in the same manner i am doing it here also so here it is the another line this is optional what i am doing right now okay so going back to our regular procedure what we have to do after point v we have to draw vertical lines perpendicular to the axis so with the help of this or with the help of mini drafter where you will be having l shape scale you can draw n number of vertical lines say one more line here okay this line no need to be equi space the gap between them may be anything and it can be vary or it can be same so here you have to take line from this top end to this bottom end let us join them or oh, this one side is also enough now what you do you mark this point as 1 dash this as 2 dash this as 3 dash and this as 4 dash hope it is clear to you and here it is 1 where 2 dash is here here is 2 here 3 dash here it is where the intersection is 3 okay like that you have to take one you can take one more line here or here just for randomly i have taken four lines for four points now what you have to do same as previous procedure how we did for ellipse here also you have to do the same thing here say this is one suffix one two suffix two three suffix three or here as one two three and four now what you do take one to one length as radius one to one i'll write here one to one dash as radius focus f as center okay so one to one length here to here i'm taking with the help of compass as a radius okay now focus is the center keep it here and draw one arc here another arc here at the bottom side so we got one arc here another arc here same way what you have to do is 2 2 as radius see 2 point is here here is 2 2 2 2 as radius f as center cut 2 2 line above and below so one arc is here very close to this another arc is here okay then 3 to 3 as radius f as center cut this three line above and below so one arc is here another arc is here like that 4 4 radius f as center you have to take around 8 to 10 points you have to take so what you have to do after taking all the points from vertex v join all the points say this as p1 this point as P2, this point as P3, okay, so on. And here say this as P4, P5, and this as P6. From vertex V, join P1, P2, P3, feed free hand smooth curve. Let us see. So I have to practice for this, then only it will be getting free hand smooth curve. Otherwise, the curve will go like this. more you practice smoother will be your curve and to get easy curve or easy smooth curve joining what you have to do you have, can reduce the distance between two lines like here how i have taken long distance so you have to join longer line so if distance is less points will be very shorter so i haven't taken any point on the fourth number so up to three you can consider and you will be going up to eight to ten parts means eight to ten points so this is how the ellipse construction is completed now we will see how to draw tangent and normal at 40 mm from the focus from the focus okay so let us see how much distance they have given first of all that much radius you have to set with your compass so 
so this is your 40 mm as radius with the help of compass we have taken from where they are saying 40 mm from focus so take focus as center 40 mm either you can cut here at the top side or at the bottom side so i'll take here at the top side this is just above the point p1 you can see here i'll just highlight this arc here it is our point where we need to draw tangent and normal so what is the procedure to draw tangent and normal draw first this line this point you have to join with the focus f then perpendicular to this line from the focus you have to take it towards directrix so say it, it is joined here now from the directrix you have to go back to the point where you have selected earlier where you are drawing tangent and normal so this is how the tangent goes here understood perpendicular to this tangent from the same point where you have taken normal will be coming so see this is the tangent here i'll align 90 degree line to this tangent and i'll bring the edge of this scale at the selected point so here goes our normal so you will be writing in caps and no r m l normal and here anywhere you write wherever space is available this as tangent now one more thing is left you have to do dimensioning for this from the focus say 2 mm gap you leave and draw the extension line and here as the dimensioning line followed by arrowheads say this is how much 50 mm right here 50 no need to write mm here you can write all dimensions are in mm or on the sheet bottom left bottom right side corner near title block you can mention note all dimensions are in mm so this is the way how we will draw a parabola by general method if you have any doubts please comment like subscribe and share the videos okay thanks for watching everyone